Donkey, <gasps> don't eat that. You probably think that you've been eating your food correctly your entire life, but have you? Here are 10 foods you're consuming wrong. So what was wrong with you? Ketchup packets. The answer is ketchup packets. Ordering at a drive-thru is one of the quickest ways to get your hands on some delicious food, but it doesn't always go as planned. The speedy process and the need to eat from your car makes this entire outing less enjoyable. Sometimes you won't even have time to enjoy your condiments, such as ketchup. Ketchup is served in little packets, which are hard to open, difficult to dip into, and just not the best when eating on the go. Fortunately, there's a better way to dip your fries into the delicious ketchup while eating from your vehicle. What easy way? There is no easy way, no matter what I do. Did you know that ketchup packets can actually be used as little dipping containers? That's right. The proper way to enjoy ketchup when ordering from a drive-thru is to cut open the top of the packet. There's usually a little slit that you can just tear off to create a full-length opening. Once that top part is removed, open up the top of the packet and there you have it. A perfect size dipping container for your fries. While you might not be able to fit an entire chicken nugget in those tiny ketchup packets, you'll certainly be able to enjoy ketchup-dipped french fries without the mess of pouring ketchup all over them. What a mess. Strawberries. Indulging in a delicious fruit on a hot summer day is one of the best feelings in the world. But sometimes, fruit can be a hassle to prepare. Always hassling me. Whether it's peeling oranges, removing grapes from their stems, or even hulling strawberries, the task itself can quickly seem too overwhelming for the reward. Fortunately, there's a much better way to enjoy some of your favorite fruit, like strawberries. While most people eat around the top of the strawberry, there's actually a very simple way to remove the top without damaging the rest of its deliciousness. All you need is a standard straw. Stick the straw into the center of the bottom of the strawberry and bring it all the way up to the top. This should quickly and effortlessly remove the top of the strawberry with the stem and leaves so you can enjoy a perfectly hulled strawberry every every time. This leaves way more of the delicious fruit intact, so you get more bang for your buck out of every bite you take. The common garden strawberry was first introduced in the 1700s, which means people have been eating them incorrectly for over 300 years. Fortunately, with this quick tip, you won't waste as much fruit and can make the entire process way easier. Just make sure you always have a straw on hand to avoid having to waste any of its deliciousness. That simple. Cupcakes. Cupcakes! Cupcakes are one of those snacks that everybody loves. I mean, what's not to like about them? They are cakes you can wow. eat on the go. Cupcakes come in all sorts of delicious flavors with multiple toppings. But one thing that remains consistent is how messy they can be. Along with being incredibly messy to eat on the go, it's also quite difficult to get the perfect amount of cake to frosting ratio with each bite. If you start from the top, you'll end up with no frosting left at the end and vice versa. Tilting the cupcake on its side to get the perfect amount of frosting and cake in one bite is also quite difficult. Most cupcakes are too big for that. Fortunately, there there's a wonderful solution that can make eating cupcakes a perfect experience. The trick is to rip off the bottom half of the cupcake and place it on top of the frosting. What this does is creates a sort of cupcake sandwich, leaving you with just the right amount of cake to frosting ratio for perfectly even bites every single time. Best of all, turning your cupcake into a sort of frosting sandwich also helps reduce the mess, making for a cleaner, tastier cupcake eating experience. I want the full experience. I came here to work. First time here? Well, be like the cool kids and hit that subscribe button and never miss out. Thanks. You're the best. All the cool kids were doing it! Bananas. Banana! Bananas are loaded with nutrients and are just generally really great for your health. But even better, they actually taste amazing. One of the oldest foods ever eaten, bananas date back to over 10,000 years ago. They definitely passed the test of time. In fact, some scientists actually believe that bananas were the world's very first fruit, and they aren't going anywhere anytime soon. However, peeling a banana isn't always as easy as it seems. While it may at first seem like a simple task, you'll 
often end up with a squishy part where you peeled it or even be left behind with some white strings that just ruin the taste. But fear not, there's a much better way to peel bananas that you've probably never even thought about. While most people tend to peel the banana from the stem down, the best way to do so is to start at the bottom. All you have to do is pinch the bottom of the banana. Once the skin has split, start peeling. It seems simple enough, and it leaves you with a perfectly peeled banana every time. Next time you eat a banana, give it a try, and it will change your entire world. Rocking your world. Oreos. Mother, Oreo smoothie now! Oreos are a wonder food that have been around since 1912 and have evolved so much over the years while still remaining exactly the same. With the evolution in flavor varieties and, of course, the continuing debate on how best to eat one, the Oreo is a simple snack consisting of two cookies holding together some delicious cream. Yet they're so incredibly versatile. Some people like to dunk them into a glass of milk, some people like to twist them open and lick off the cream. The possibilities are truly endless. but there's actually one way considered to be the ideal process for consuming Oreo cookies. The correct way actually involves sticking a fork into the cream right into the middle between the two cookies. Then you dip that cookie-filled fork into a glass of milk. This provides the rich flavor of milk combined with the crunchy Oreo taste without getting any milk all over your hands. Whether or not it's the one and only way to consume Oreos is up for debate, but it does make a lot of sense when you want to enjoy this crunchy little cream-filled cookie without having to deal with accidentally sticking your fingers into your glass of milk. Fingers, fingers, fingers! Give it a try and see if this is truly the best way to eat Oreos out of the dozens of ways that have already been documented. Give it a try. Chinese takeout. I don't like Chinese. Being one of the largest manufacturing nations in the world, China produces many of the products we use every day. Everything here was made in China. Although the country excels at making merchandise, one of the very best creations was their takeout boxes. Chinese takeout is renowned worldwide for being unique and actually quite fun. The food arrives in little boxes, making for a cute dining experience like no other. However, when it comes time to actually eat that food, you'll often find it difficult to reach all the way to the bottom without having to eat all of the top layers first. That's because you're doing it wrong. No, God! Chinese takeout boxes were actually designed to come apart. The boxes actually come apart on all sides, with the food remaining in the middle as if sitting on a platter. This allows you to share your food more evenly for a much more enjoyable eating experience. When eating Chinese takeout, we also recommend that you learn to use the included chopsticks for a fully immersive experience. Nothing is better than eating Chinese takeout the proper way along with the proper tools. Using best gold chopsticks. Keurig water. Just water. Keurig machines have been revolutionizing the way we make coffee ever since they first launched back in 1998. With slimmer machines, more capable technology, and the ability to be sipping coffee in a matter of seconds, Keurig has really reinvented the way we make coffee, both at home and the workplace. Some of their machines are even able to make cold brews and lattes. However, that's not all those little household wonders are capable of. They can also provide you with boiling hot water with the press of a button. That's right, many people tend to forget that their Keurig machines can heat up water, and they do so very quickly. When preparing oatmeal in the morning or even when getting your ramen noodles bowl prepared, remember that with the press of a button, you can have the hot water you need. You no longer need to pull out heavy pots, fill them with water, and wait several minutes just to watch it heat up. Boring! Most Keurig machines have different levels available, so you can choose 8-ounce, 10-ounce, or even 12-ounce servings. If that's not enough, just press the button again until you have enough boiling water. Better yet, you don't even need special K-cups. All you need to do is lift the lid, close it again, without any pods inserted, and press the button. Voila! Instant hot water. Voila! Lettuce wrap tacos. Lettuce! Lettuce! Who doesn't love tacos? This delicious meal is filled with wonderful goodness, from the spicy meat to the avocado guacamole and even the added cilantro. Best of all, you can customize your tacos to your liking by choosing from several dozen ingredients. 
Tacos really are a delicious food that deserves a spot in the Food Hall of Fame, if there even is such a thing. However, they are quite messy, and there's no way around it. No matter how you hold your taco, and no matter which end you start from, there really is no way around the dripping of salsa and other fillings onto your plate. This makes it really difficult to eat tacos on the go or while standing. Forget about eating a taco in your car. That is, until you learn about the lettuce trick. All you have to do is wrap a piece of romaine lettuce around your existing taco tortilla, and you'll have an edible cover-up for your taco. Best of all, romaine lettuce is one of the main ingredients in tacos, so the flavors really do go well together. Not only does the lettuce wrap add an extra level of tidiness while eating tacos, but it also provides a different kind of texture that is just as enjoyable to munch into. Give it a try, and you may never want to go back to unwrapped tacos ever again. Never! Canned veggies. You like canned food? Canned foods are great to stock up on, whether you're preparing for a zombie apocalypse or just want a reserve of canned foods for a rainy day when you don't feel like going out to the grocery store. Canned foods are a great thing to have in any household. They take up little space and can be stored for years, even decades. As such a versatile food, some people tend to forget about canned food basics. That's right, there's a certain way you need to heat canned foods, canned veggies more specifically. An important thing to remember about them is you don't want to cook them a second time. Oh, you don't like my cooking, huh? <laughs> you see, the reason canned foods are able to remain delicious for so long is because they were already cooked a first time. This makes it important for you not to cook them a second time when heating them up. All you want to do is reheat them so they're warm again. Cooking them again a second time around will end up with a loss in nutrients and other good stuff that makes them healthy in the first place. In fact, heating them for too long can even make them lose some of their flavor. Garlic. I, I, garlic intolerant. Garlic is one of those universal ingredients that not only makes things taste great, but smell great too. If you've ever walked into the kitchen with a lasagna cooking in the oven, you know exactly what we mean. The fragrance screams delicious meal ahead, and you know you're about to head into a dining experience that will involve unbuttoning your pants at some point. While garlic is incredibly delicious in a wide variety of meals, there's a certain way to prepare it that ensures you get the most benefits out of it. Garlic is filled with allicin, an enzyme that has the potential to be life-saving. But in order to get this beneficial enzyme, you need to expose the garlic to air beforehand. In order to achieve these benefits, it's recommended that you chop up the garlic and let it sit out on the counter for at least 10 minutes before adding it to your food or cooking pan. This will ensure maximum air can activate the enzyme so you can enjoy all the health benefits that come along with it. Garlic bread and health benefits? Who knew? Have some garlic, Keanu! Order up another great video. Just tap or click. First time here? Then hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.